Unit 3, Lesson 7. Equivalent ratios have the same unit rates. Number 1. A car travels 55 miles per hour for 2 hours. Complete the table. The right hand column, every row will be 55, representing 55 miles per hour. On the left hand side, where it says time, one half hour, well you just divide the one by two to get one half. Therefore you'll have to divide the distance by two. So 55 divided by two equals 27 and a half. So for every half hour, the distance covered is 27 and a half miles at 55 miles per hour. To find one and a half hours, just add one hour plus a half hour equals one and a half hours. So add 55 miles plus 27 and a half miles, and you'll have 82 and a half miles. So the distance covered in one and a half hours will be 82 and a half miles for a car that's traveling 55 miles an hour. A distance of 110 miles is double 55 miles. So all I did was multiply 55 by 2, and that gives me 110. And so I'd have to multiply 1 times 2 to give me 2. So in 2 hours, the distance traveled would be 110 miles at 55 miles an hour. Here's a look at the completed chart. Number 2. The table shows the amounts of onions and tomatoes in different size batches of a salsa recipe. Elena notices that if she takes the number in the tomatoes column and divides it by the corresponding number in the onions column, she always gets the same result. What is the meaning of the number that Elena has calculated? 16 tomatoes divided by 2 onions. 16 divided by 2 is 8. So for every 2 onions, she has 16 tomatoes. That's the same as as a ratio of one onion to eight tomatoes. So she's discovered that there's a ratio of onions to tomatoes of one to eight. So a one to eight ratio is the same as a two to 16 ratio or a four to 32 ratio or a six to 48 ratio. Number three, a restaurant is offering two specials, 10 burritos for $12 or six burritos for $7.50. No one needs 60 burritos for his party. Should he buy 6 orders of the 10 burrito special or 10 orders of the 6 burrito special? Explain your reasoning. On the top in the blue, I made a table for 10 burritos for $12. And on the bottom in green, there's a table representing 6 burritos for $7.50. 10 divided by 10 equals 1, so that would represent 1 burrito. 12 divided by 10 would be $1.20, so the unit price per burrito would be 1 burrito for $1.20 for the first special. And in green on the bottom, 6 divided by 6 is 1, $7.50 divided by 6 is $1.25. Noah should buy the special that offers 10 burritos for $12. Number four, complete the table so that the cost per banana remains the same. 50 cents is a half a dollar. So when I'm multiplying, I'm going to use a trick that I like to use. I'm going to say half of instead of times. What's half of four? Two. What's half of six? Three. What's half of seven? Three dollars and fifty cents. What's half of ten? Five. Now these last two are different. Instead of giving you the number of bananas, they're giving you the cost in dollars. So this would be 10 divided by 50 cents. That would be 20. $16.50 divided by 50 cents. That would be 33. Number five. Two planes travel at a constant speed. Plane A travels 2,800 miles in five hours. Plane B travels 3,885 miles in 7 hours. Which plane is faster? Explain your reasoning. Plane A is represented by the table above. 5 hours divided by 5 equals 1 hour. 2,800 miles divided by 5 equals 560 miles. 
The chart on the bottom represents plane B. 7 hours divided by 7 equals 1. 3,885 divided by 7 equals 555. Which plane travels faster? Plane A is faster. Plane A travels 560 miles in one hour compared to plane B traveling only 555 miles in one hour. Number 6. A car has 15 gallons of gas in its tank. The car travels 35 miles per gallon of gas. It uses 1 35th of a gallon of gas to go one mile. A. How far can the car travel with 15 gallons? Show your reasoning. They provided us with some information that we can start the chart with. They said that the car uses 1 35th of a gallon of gas to go one mile. If we multiply that 1 35th by its reciprocal, 35 over 1, we would get 35 35ths, which is equal to one full gallon. Of course, if we multiplied the left side by 35, we have to multiply the right side by 35. So 1 times 35 equals 35. They also told us that the car travels 35 miles per gallon. Now that we have one gallon, we need to multiply it by 15 because the question is, how far can the car travel with 15 gallons? So 1 times 15 is 15, and 35 times 15 is 525. So now we know that the car can travel 525 miles on 15 gallons of gas. B. How much gas does the car use to go 100 miles? Show your reasoning. I've made a chart. We know that the car goes one mile on 1 35th of a gallon of gas. Now we're going to multiply the one mile times 100 so that we can have 100 miles. So 1 times 100 equals 100. Since we multiplied the right side by 100, we need to multiply the left side by 100. 1 35th gallon multiplied by 100 equals 100 35ths. To figure out how many gallons this is, we'll do 100 divided by 35. 100 divided by 35 is 2 and 30 35ths. 2 and 30 35ths can be reduced to 2 and 6 sevenths gallons. So it uses almost 3 gallons of gas to go 100 miles. Congratulations! You have completed Unit 3, Lesson 7. Equivalent ratios have the same unit rates.